They can sometimes appear on the straight horizon, long lines of silhouettes making their way through the deserts, the strongest in front, the weakest behind. Every week, hundreds of migrants turned away from Algeria end up in Asamaka, the first village on the border with Niger. There were now more than 4,500 people trapped between the Sahara and Sahel deserts. The Algerian military and police told us that the IOM here in Niger would take us to our country. I arrived on 11 January. It's been three months now. When we arrived here, we were told that we were not recognized as IOM migrants and that we have to pay for our transport to return home. When Algeria catch you in their country, then take all the necessary information about you. But at the end, when they want to deport you, they won't give you a single of the document they take from you. And when you come here, because they first come in Asamaka, because people never stay in Asamaka, they come in Ali Street because of the suffering in Asamaka. The 1,500 inhabitants of Asamaka are now overwhelmed. The transit center, managed by the IOM, the main intergovernmental organization in this field, is also overwhelmed. The water tanks are empty, the rations insufficient, while the temperature sometimes approaches 48 degrees during the day. They have reached a point where they are stealing from the population, from the animals of the population to slaughter them and feed themselves. It's not because they are thieves, but when your stomach is hungry, you can't do anything. You have to look for food. The number of migrants rejected at the gates of Niger has not stopped increasing since the beginning of the year, according to Doctors Without Borders.